sex education in schools is fueling a huge rise in the number of children coming out as transgender. That's according to the Conservative MP Miriam Cates, who's warned that extreme gender ideology is indoctrinating kids. The former biology teacher claims the increase in those transitioning was a social contagion driven by the internet and reinforced in schools. A recent YouGov poll found that 79% of secondary school teachers have pupils who identify either as transgender or non-binary. And she may actually... I think she's probably over egg something here. There, there could be a point. A friend of mine, whose daughter is 14, in her class, there are 20 out of 32 kids who identify as non-binary. Uh, that is statistically impossible because it's like pick your pronouns. We can all pick our pronouns. It's a that, that when you get into that territory, it's a kind of fringe ideology, if mm. you like, that, you, that you're kind of dealing with. And you know, there's a suggestion that some teachers, perhaps because of the kind of training around awareness and diversity, mm. have jumped in. There might be a kid at school who's gay. Teachers apparently looking at this, going, "Well, maybe actually that little boy's a, a, a woman. Well, no, he could just be gay." Could be, it's not, doesn't mean he's a girl, for example. So I think there is a serious issue here. I'm not sure whether anybody is actually transitioning as a result of this. But I well, think Well, I mean, certainly... I don't think, thankfully, we haven't gotten that far yet. I, I genuinely don't trust teachers. And I say this as someone who didn't leave school that long ago. Um, I just don't think sex ed now should be in the hands of schools or sort of education. I, I just don't believe it anymore because I think there's too much of a risk of this sort of the infiltration of this sort of ideology with kids that don't understand their bodies, that don't understand sexuality, let alone anything around sort of gender and trans ideology, none of that. And, you know, I, I understand there are well-meaning teachers mm. that say, actually, you know, we're talking more about this sort of gender ideology and there may be a few of you in, I don't know, 2,000 kids that may be non-binary, let alone even transgender. But I just think the risk is too high. Sex I don't think they are well meaning. I think they're actually obsessed with well, it. I think they're obsessed with this idea the of, of the gender adult. and sexuality of other people's children. Really? It's, the, it's the Halifax thing from yesterday. Oh, that was obscene. Uh, but it's, it kind of feeds into all of that. Oh, we, we better deal with this. Well, why can't parents just teach on. their kids about sex well, education? Well, you might think so, Daisy. <laughs> Well, actually, I mean, we were talking about this because I've got a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old, so they are right in this demographic that, that we're talking about. And they have... Funny enough, my boy is at an all-boys school and I've heard nothing about any of those boys, you know, um, wanting to be trans or, or change gender or any of that. My girl was in a co-ed school and, and then she, and she's moved to another co-ed school and I've heard of loads um, of her friends. But so, and I think there are a number of things at play here. I don't think that those sex ed lessons will make any difference to the number of kids who decide that they want to change gender or whatever, because those kids are all talking about it all the time. N not because of what their yeah. teachers are telling them, but because of what they're getting off TikTok and off Correct. the internet that's, and, that's off, really and off everything. Works. And I don't think those teachers will make a blind bit of difference. Yeah. I do. That doesn't mean I don't care what, what they're teaching and if, if they're teaching the correct way. Uh, and I don't have a problem with kids. Teenagers have always pushed boundaries. Teenagers have always wanted to think about things differently and to shock their parents. All those things, I've got no problem with that, as long as it's not permanent. Mm. Yeah, precisely. As long as it can be undone. Well, gender identity has got nothing to do with sexual intercourse. This, this shouldn't be, be being taught in sex education classes. Sex education is about really. sexual yes. intercourse. Yes. Uh, being trans or non-binary is about how you identify in your gender. Actually, looking back, when I was a teenager at school, I liked wearing trousers, and trousers were very much something that was associated with boys. Therefore, I might have said, if I felt like I was forced at the time, to be going, well, maybe, maybe I'm a boy then. Maybe I'm questioning. Yeah. That's not trans ideology, as people call it, making me question No, but the teacher, the teacher should say then to you, no, Nicola, you're Nicola, you're not a boy. What's happening now, apparently, is that teachers are going, well, that's but very, very possible. Well, well, well it's not said that when, when I was about five, I made my whole family call me William for about a year. Now we just Can't thought it was we just it. thought it was really really <laughs> funny in my family, and it was something that was talked about as God. Do you remember that stage Daisy yes. went through? Where she, nobody thought it was serious. Nobody thought Did it, it actually was. Actually, call yeah. you William for a year. Yeah, I wouldn't exactly. answer to anything else. <laughs> but the way that this teacher, this, sorry, this MP has called it a contagion, I think is so irresponsible because this is the sort of thing that people were saying about gay people only a couple of decades ago. Some people still are saying it. But we're not talking about the same. But not really. No, 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 because no, I think... If you let me finish my point. Get, you can't catch gay in the same way you can't catch trans. Uh, but I'm, I'm with you. Well, I'm 
I'm okay. With... Okay. No. Okay. There's the wording there. I'm just saying you can't catch gay. Yes, you're right. But if you if you see someone saying I'm non-binary, it makes them seem different and cool. And you can actually encourage young kids to say that or to feel like, oh, actually, I should be questioning my gender because that's you know that's a done thing now. I'm I'm I genuinely believe there is an element of trying to feel special and trying to feel different with this whole non-binary questioning your gender sort of thing. That's not at all the same way as being gay. It's not. It's not. It's not the same thing at all. It's I wasn't different. I, I wasn't suggesting that it is the same. I was saying that mm. 20 years ago, or even well, still the to this day, the attitude is saying that if a gay mm. person exists, then more people will become gay, and that's not what's happening with trans ideology. All right, we could.